Hello everybody, Stuart here from Stubio Gaming. Playing Inquisitor Martyr again. Um, I'm kind of in that position where I'm not ready to do build guides for a number of my different builds that I'm working on. Um, but I'm also not really in a position to do proper let's play videos because they're too low a level and um, I'm still kind of trying to get them to a stage where they are fully playable. So on this video, I'm actually going to do kind of a bit of both. So what I wanted to do was show you how I go about leveling up my Psyker, because obviously the Psyker is quite a uh, useful class when it comes to leveling, simply because you do have some pretty neat abilities. Now, the armor that I'm using, the Aether Walker armor, has this really nice teleport ability. The problem with it on console is you cannot tell it where to go. It basically selects the closest enemy unless there are no enemies nearby. If there's no enemies nearby, it will allow you to basically go wherever you want to. I'm not in a position to go wherever I want to because I'm surrounded, so I'm showing you what I tend to do. Now, when you're leveling up at this sort of level, 45 around the 50 mark the amount of experience you're getting per kill is not brilliant so if you are able to level up by basically rushing the level then that's actually in some cases a better way of leveling up so that's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to take out the bosses because obviously they do have quite a lot of experience. But once the bosses have gone, I am just running. I'm trying to keep up my defensive skills, obviously, because I do tend to lose quite a bit of uh, health doing this particular method. I don't tend to rotate the camera too much. But that's just my own preference more than anything else. Um, especially when I'm levelling because it does disorientate me from where I'm actually going to and going from. Now, if you want a bit of a breather and you see a clue on the floor, pick it up. Now, there's two reasons for that. Because when you're playing a Psyker, if you have any warp anomalies other than Plague Ridden, so if it summons an enemy... You, you can't do anything about it. But if it summons a pillar, if it summons the Triforce, as I call it, which is basically that um, three purple star with the, the warp beam between each one, if it summons a glyph on the floor, if you pick up a clue or you access a cogitator or you go into any form of cutscene, it cancels them. So you can have... 12, 13, 14 of those all over the screen, you pick something up or enter a cutscene, it cancels them. They disappear. And as you can see in the background of this particular screen, you can see bullets bouncing off the wall because it freezes time in the background. Now this is obviously if you're not playing co-op. If you're playing co-op to level, then it will be completely different. But it still does cancel the... Um, the warp anomalies but what it doesn't do is it doesn't pause time so that's uh, something else to take note of okay the rest of the traitors must still be in the main engine room i'm on my way so there we go there's a prime example i wanted to go down the screen but i couldn't because unfortunately there are enemies around authentication codes they are asking us to surrender. Tell them that you have engine malfunctions. I'll deal with them later. Okay. Should probably have uh, done that beforehand right now. So, for this particular section, I do have to kill everything. So, this is where I can start getting a bit funky.
Now things from other areas, if you've managed to bring a huge crowd into here, don't get factored into that. So once you've got rid of everything in the circles on the screen, that's when you will have completed this little map area. Go. So I've got precognition on, on um, which does seem to work pretty well. It almost gives you a 100%. So it, it says it gives you plus 100, but I actually think it makes you invincible for a short period of time, to be fair. Not sure whether that's its intended function, um, but that's exactly what it does. It makes you invincible, and uh, it only stops when the timer runs out. Now, if you combine that with... Uh, the full defense tree where you get reanimator gland at the top and it's going to be very very difficult to kill this guy <laughs> right okay let's just take these out now I've finished because if I die now it doesn't actually matter and that's the same on missions where you've got a limited number of lives as well if you die after the mission's completed it doesn't matter okay so back to the ship Okay, so uh, there we go. Let's talk to the captain. So that's basically how I do my leveling with the Psyker. It's the only one you can do that with because none of the others have that sort of uh, unlimited teleportability. And uh, that's going to be it for this video as well. So sorry it's not uh, a build guide. Um, as I say, I've got a couple of characters currently that are on their way up to doing build guides so most of my characters have always been crusaders so i've got this guy who's now 45 and i do have a low level assassin as well that i want to do a build guide um now normally for build guides and it's just something that i do for some reason i do a separate character per build um which isn't ideal I understand that because it does take a long time to get them up to the right sort of level but I think once you're actually building a character for a specific build it's a lot easier because if I was to try and change one of my builds to a different build I would have to try and find all of the items again and sometimes that can be quite annoying where you're swapping items out and then you forget which ones you need for your your other build so yeah i try to make a separate character if that becomes too much of a problem if i need to do a lot of builds which it does look like i'm gonna have to then maybe i'll start doing a, a switch around on existing characters but up until now that's not what i do well guys thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please make sure you do click that like button Subscribe if you are new to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified when I do upload my next video. Make sure you also click the all notifications option because if you click um, select notifications then um, YouTube will determine what you actually get notified about which is not ideal because sometimes they'll get it wrong and you'll be notified about a video you don't want to see and you'll be missing the ones that you do. Um, so please do click all notifications. Leave me a comment down below. What do you think of the method of uh, leveling up this particular Psyker? Um, and also let me know what you think about the, uh, the problem with aiming your teleport on console. Um, as I say, if it was mouse and keyboard, it would be much, much easier. But again, you'd just be pointing where you want your character to go rather than moving them. So I still do prefer the controller personally. Well guys, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Looks like my subscriber count is gradually increasing all the time, which I'm really, really grateful for. Um, we're, I think, currently 71 off 500 subscribers, which, if we consider this time last year, I was on about 60. Um, it's not a huge growth, but it's an organic growth, and to be honest, I'm really, really happy with it. So thank you all very much for subscribing. And as I said a minute ago, if you haven't subscribed, please do so because it really does help. Um, and, you know, let me know down below as well what sort of videos you do want to see. Build gods seem to be uh, 
quite popular, but anything else, please tell me. Check out my other videos on my other games as well. I do post some videos on um, one of my new games, Citadel Forged with Fire. It's not an ARPG, but it does have RPG sort of parts to it, so check those out as well. Even if you're not interested, then if you're not, you don't have to watch another, but uh, do give them a quick, a quick check out because uh, the game might surprise you. Well, guys, thanks very much. Really appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon. You all take care. Bye for now.